Hi, I'm Dee Ramirez. We're down at Icon Collective in downtown LA. So let's get started. For this episode, what I'm going to do is split it into two parts. Uh, the first part is making a logic template. What a logic template is, is basically a good starting point for a track or a production. Not only for this track, but it can be something you can save as a template and then you can boot up for f future productions. And a template is, for instance, you know within a production you're going to use certain things. You're going to use certain effects, you're going to use certain routings, i.e. certain groups. You're going to group things to certain channels, etc. So we can, we can preset this before we start and this will be saved as a template. So for instance, we would have like three types of delay. So you've got like your half delay, your quarter delay, your triplet delay. Then you might have two types of reverb, one longer plate reverb and a short room reverb. You might have, you're possibly going to use a chorus a lot of the time, so you set up a chorus. Then we set up groups. Uh, groups would be for drums, for instance. You set the drums to go through one group. The reason being is that you might want to compress them or, or EQ them or change the overall level of the drums, etc. Then you're going to have things like a group for bass. Then you'll have a group for vocals. You'll have a group for your synths. You'll have a group for your effects. So it's really good if you can set this up to, to as your starting point for your track, basically. So I'm going to show you in this part how to make a logic template because it was shown to me once and I found it very useful. I've got this basically set, I've got this set up in my own production now and it helps me out immensely. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to work out how many auxiliary channels we actually need. Auxiliary channels are, you know, what we're going to use for routings, etc. So I already mentioned we've got three delays. We've got two reverbs, that's five. We've got one chorus, that's six. We're going to leave three spare, maybe for like special effects, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? We've got the drums, 10. We've got bass, 11. We've got vocals, 12. We've got synths, 13. We've got effects, 14. And then 15 will be uh, a pre-master fader, which I'll explain a little bit more about later. So that's 15 auxiliaries we're going to set up. I'll quickly show you how to do that in Logic. So, open up the mixer once again. Options, create new channel auxiliary channel strips. We're gonna go, we know we want them stereo. We know we want the input to be from the buses. So we'll start by bus one. There's a little tick box there that says ascending. So you know it will be, the first one will be bus one and it will go bus one, bus two, bus three, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right the way up to bus 15, okay? So we've got, uh, we'll set the amount there to 15. We'll, we'll press create. Here we go. Now, a nice little feature with Logic is if you can see that all of these are selected. So if I change one fader, all of the faders will change. All right. I can actually set the, if I put that there, I can hold down the option key and press that and it'll set all of the faders to unity gain. Um, I can change them from mono to stereo, obviously we want them stereo, but the purpose of this is I'm showing you you can actually do quite a lot of things uh, by selecting more than one channel at once. So we're going to deselect that. If we deselect that, uh, and then you can see that it only works on that one channel. Okay, so we know that we want three delays as auxiliary one, two, and three. So I, I like to use the tape delay, it's a simple delay, something I've used for quite a long time. And um, so we go, there we go. We've got three channels selected at once. Here we go. We're going to open up the tape delay. There we go. So the first plugin we're going to set to, uh, well, it's default setting actually. We'll leave it there like that. The second plugin we're going to open up, we're going to set that on quarter notes. Okay. The third plugin we're going to set to triplets. I'll show you what we do with triplets. To get a triplet, you simply move the groove slider down to the bottom there. Um, and then that will give you your basic triplet delay, okay? So we've got three set up. Now, what I also like to do as well is put an EQ after each delay. Um, so we can do that by simply selecting the EQ, channel EQ there, okay? Um, 
The reason why I would open up an EQ after the delay is basically to cut the low end or to cut the high end or to EQ the delay so it sounds different to the original signal. Ah, there's one thing I did forget, which is very important. Before we go there, let's open up the delay again. Now, yeah, we've got to make sure it's set to 100% wet, which it is, you can see there. Take the dry signal out, make sure it's set to 100% wet. You can leave the feedback around 30%. We'll change that later on. Okay, so back to channel EQ. What I like to do here is, uh, basically, we'll put a low cut on there and we'll set that to like around about 150. For now, we can change this later. We'll actually set up a high cut as well because sometimes, you know, we might want to actually like cut the high from the delay. The whole purpose of this is to make the delay sound a little different to the original signal because otherwise it will just get that messy if you've got like the original signal and the delay all sounding the same, it's going to get you know, it's going to get muddy, etc. So I'll do that for all three. Again, we can see uh, we've got a low cut there. We're going to set that to around 150. We've got a high cut there. We're going to set that you know, around that mark there. Okay, so do that for all three. Yep, yeah, so low cut 150. Uh, obviously, we can change these later on as we go, but we just want something basic for now. Okay, now your next bus is the reverbs. What we're going to do, again, we want two reverbs, so we'll set, select both. We can then open up two reverbs from there, uh, which we'll use the Space Designer. And Space Designer is a beautiful reverb that comes bundled with Logic, and it's actually a convolution reverb, which means it actually has sampled impulse responses. Uh, those impulse responses are actually sampled spaces. Okay, so what you get is an ultra-realistic real, ultra realistic reverb sound. Really nice. The first one we open up will have, uh, we'll set it to a very short reverb. Uh, so we go to small spaces, we'll go to rooms, and we'll go all the way up here to basically string room. Now this is just a basic setup. Second reverb, we want something longer. So we'll go medium spaces, and we'll go plate ver reverbs and we'll set it on, let's have a soft plate, drum plate actually, it'd be quite nice, we'll go for that. Okay, so you've got like basically one short one, one long one. Auxiliary six will use a chorus. Now, I tend to use chorus on a lot of sounds. It's a great thickener, it adds a bit of space to a sound, and it's something that I won't just use on one sound, I'll use on many sounds. So it's good to have it set up as an auxiliary effect because other, otherwise you'll have to put you know, a chorus on each channel you want it on. You don't want to, you want to save some computer power. So we'll set it up as an auxiliary effect and we can just send whatever channel to that whenever we want to. So modulation, chorus, we'll just like leave this as the default setting. Again, if you want to, you can put an EQ after there so we can EQ it if we want to. Okay. Auxiliary 7, 8 and 9, I'm just going to leave these free because I want to like use, save these for any special effects, any strange delays or any kind of weird effects or anything, any extra routings we want to do, I'll just leave those spare. Now, now we come to the subgroups. Subgroup 1 will be drums and actually I'll actually name these as we go along. Drums, you can see there, let me just zoom in on that, I'm naming them drums. Subgroup 2 will be bass. Subgroup three will be, I said, vocals. Subgroup four, let me just zoom out of that, move across over here. Subgroup four will be vocals, ba drums, bass, vocals, synths. Right, and synths. Uh, subgroup five will be effects. Effects, whooshes. Whooshes. Okay, and finally we got this last bus here, or last auxiliary, sorry. And what we call this, we call this pre-fader. Or pre-master fader. Okay, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and like name the channels now. Let's name the, name the buses. The reason why we name these auxiliaries is because then they will show up when you select here. You see that when we go to bus here, 
if we can zoom in on that, there's no actual name for it yet. Uh, logic has got a great feature, um, whereas if we would name them here, like for instance, um, full delay, if we go to bus there, you can see it, it corresponds there. So let's go ahead and name all these. Full delay, half delay, delay, and this is going to be triplet delay, delay, okay, and this is going to be short verb, verb, and this is going to be longer verb, longer verb, oops, longer verb. Auxiliary six is the chorus. Um, auxiliary seven is, we'll leave these spare, so we, should, we won't name these anything for now, because we'll you know, just leave them for spare later. Now we've already named these, this is drums, bass, vocals, synths, whooshes, etc. So now if I go to the sends on the side here, it actually is named. So if I want to put a full delay on a vocal, it's already there. If I want to put a half delay on a, a snare drum, whatever, it's there, etc, etc. Short verb on drums, it's all there named. Beautiful. So now we can come out of the mixer. Um, basically that's it. I don't at this point like to actually include any instruments for my template. All I want is some basic routing setup, some basic group setup, and some basic stock effects like delay and reverb. And that just saves a lot of time later when you come to uh, produce the track because you know you're always going to use these, so let's, let's just have them set up. I'm now going to go right ahead and save as a template. I'll just zoom in on that. Save as template. Now we'll call this uh, D. Ramirez template, okay, and that's going to go in project templates, okay. We'll save that, okay. Right, so that's all that. That's uh, that's how to create a basic template. Now that's my template. You could actually you could create a template with more effects in there if you want. If you know that you always use a certain effect on everything, and it's an auxiliary effect that you want to use for more than one channel go ahead and, and, and create it. That's just my way. There's, you, if you want to create more routings, if you want to have your, say for instance, your hi-hats going through one auxiliary, or group, sorry, go ahead and create another auxiliary, another group. If you want to have as many as you want, you know, you decide and think about it first, what it is you want to do and how you normally produce and make the template accordingly. Okay, if we go to file new, we won't close that. And we can see in my templates we've got D Ramirez template. So that's always there for you to use for future productions basically.